Hey everybody, we're back. Um, we went to Home Depot, returned some stuff that we didn't need, some fittings and some paint for the floor, some doorknobs. Anyways, um, we ended up going to Harbor Freight. Uh, I didn't need some burly big table saw. Um, I'm not cutting, I'm not building houses. So I just went with something cheap from Harbor Freight, 150 bucks, this Warrior. I think it'll work really good for us. Um, let me take a look at it here. So, Warrior chain, Warrior uh, 15 amp, two and a half horsepower, 10 inch table saw. Like I said, it's nothing special, but it will uh, it will work for us. And uh, I think I'm gonna unbox it right here with you guys. So we'll see what, what uh, she looks like. <clears throat> we'll be doing all the trim with this, and uh, then whatever hobby project we have afterwards, I'm sure we'll get a lot of use out of it. Packaging, packaging, packaging. That's the uh, owner's manual. Uh, it's super important to have. I mean, you know, some people like to read it. I might take a look at it to figure out how to put the blade on, but that's only because I've never owned a table saw really before. So, let's take it out of the box here. Holy moly, that's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Get everything out of the box and get the box out of the way. All right, don't need this anymore. Oh, this is terrible. Now you can see my face. Anyways, guys, so table saw. Got a few things that come with, like I said, the owner's manual right here. Uh, this is so you don't uh, cut your fucking fingers off. You know, you need to push the guide through. We don't want to cut fingers off. This isn't one of those fancy schmancy ones where, you know, it, uh, one, I don't know, where it, the, the, it's got some sensor in it that when you touch it with the, with your finger, the blade immediately stops and shoots back down. This is not one of those. You don't get that for 150 bucks. Those look like feet. I don't know, I guess we're gonna read the owner's manual and figure out how to put this thing together. Well, apparently they don't either. All right, so I guess we're winging it because this is no good. But I've seen these are feet, so let's take a look. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna pop on over the corners. There it goes. So there's one foot. I was expecting this to be aluminum or something, but I guess it's just, uh, there it goes. It's just plastic. They had another model that was a little bit more money. I think it was $190. And it said it was cast aluminum, so I'm gonna assume that that was, it was talking about the body of it, because the body of this one's actually just plastic, but that's okay. Like I said, we're not using it for anything big, anything burly, just some small stuff here and there, and I'm not concerned about it. That's okay. Like I said, we got this thing here, so we'll be able to figure it out from here. Right there. And that's just our sliding guide. A little choppy, but then it locks down in place. So I'll get you a look at that. So right here, that's your release. This is so you can slide your, your gate back and forth and get your straight cuts. This will work really good for us. So locks from here. And then this piece. This piece here just goes right in there and this gives you your miners and your, your different angles for whatever you're wanting to cut. So if you want to come in at a 45 and, and cut a board, then you can just slide it in like that and cut your board across. Or perpendicular cuts, they're perfectly perpendicular and you got good straight edges, you can just push it across and saw it like that. And it all locks down in place. And, all this stuff locks in place, and that's about it. It's not really anything special, guys. Um, should be a good table saw. We'll uh, we'll put it to use and uh, show you guys what's going on here soon, because we'll be doing some trimming and whatnot as soon as we fix the floor. But that's what we're gonna do next. So, uh, hope you guys have a great day. And uh, as always, keep up the good work. I'm out.